you know, you should constantly always want to be on the pursuit of knowledge. That's how you become an owl, by pursuing knowledge. And um, what do you know? I learned a couple of things, something new, very recently. You know, in 1898, there was apparently uh, an anti-geophilic league in the United States of America. Now, this was at the height of, well, America, you know, becoming an imperialist nation. And there was vigorous debate against this. Some of the, well, uh, some of the biggest proponents against this imperialist nature in America were some people that, well, we've all heard of. Andrew Carnegie, Mark Twain, Frederick Douglass, you know? And this anti-imperialist league, well, they sort of kind of fizzled out because, well, I mean, America's imperialist nature was winning out. It was winning the day. I mean, we invaded and overthrew the government and the sovereign nation of Hawaii. You know, most people don't know that there was an invasion by America and that it was violent. There were people who had ruled Hawaii. Royal families had ruled Hawaii for centuries. And the United States came and invaded and overthrew the Hawaiian government. And well, murdered a lot of the kings and the queens there in that invasion. There were a lot of Americans at the time, such as Mark Twain, who gave, well, passionate defenses against that kind of nature, against imperialism. You know, it doesn't get told about Mark Twain that he was the leading vocal critic of, well, imperialist takeover by the United States. You don't get told that by Mark, about Mark Twain. No. Mark Twain has been, well, kind of whitewashed too. You know, as often everything is. Everyone is just sort of kind of like subdued, you know. No vigor there. No fighting. No resistance. No rebels, you know. You know, the anti-imperialist league we probably need to start one up again because, well, you got people that, well, now, now you got, well, people that want to take everything. It's not enough to have, well, most things. No, they've got to consume everything. And that's what it's come down to. They're going to take everything from you. Or they're going to try to take everything from you. And, well, they're going to see if they can go for it. If you can go for it. And we need an anti-imperialist league to stand up like Mark Twain did and Frederick Douglass and Andrew Carnegie. We need people to stand up and say, no, we're not gonna go for this. So now you know about Mark Twain, who uh, when the American soldiers were overseas fighting in imperialist wars, he said, well, you ought to just change the flag. You know, what Macy Gray said, he said, you ought to just change the flag to skulls and bones, you know? And well, why a bandit flag? Because you're not really fighting for America. You're fighting for corporate interests, you know? Something like Sullivan and Cromwell. You can get to Sullivan and Cromwell, you know? Something that Tucker Carlson never talks about, you know? You'll never hear anything about Sullivan and Cromwell. And I'll tell you all about Sullivan and Cromwell. And then you won't be surprised when people dislike you in Latin America.